We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. A lot of firm returns for you guys to smash that like button. And here we are with BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond Inc. And the stock had an explosive move to the upside after hitting an extreme weakness point And it was hitting new lows, guys. No one saw this coming, but it wasn't the only stock going higher. The overall market went higher as well. And the SPY did as well. And since 9.20 a.m., our SPY bot sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, call options went up 400% plus within hours, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts with our 42 vision indicators and getting connected to our bots, check out the link down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator and getting connected to our SPY bot, QQQ bot, newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets. I personally believe this is my opinion and perspective alone. Volatility is here to stay and within it, there's opportunities and with an edge and clarity, one can maximize and I'm an advocate that everyone should have clearer charts. It doesn't have to be 42 vision, but if you find value in it, join us and become part of a growing community of members using these resources so bbby is sitting here sideways now after having a strong pop of nearly almost 10 percent plus right almost 20 percent at his highs almost eradicating or erasing all of the losses that happened yesterday and bouncing back up the overall market's going up bbby is going up but we need to break down what 42 vision is showing after going from this dip area to this rip area but before we break it all down, I want to share with you guys the holding opportunities that were mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And as you see popping up here on the screen, these are the home runs I've managed to find this week alone. While not guaranteed to be this way every single day, we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So the home runs of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity over the charts with our 42 vision indicator, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. So these are the three stocks I mentioned this morning. Every single one of them gave 20% plus, turning out to be a home run. And this is when we caught them in the pre-market. The first one here is IMRA was pulling downwards towards the bell. Had a pop up here with the first bull indicator and inflows crossing of 20% plus. Sat sideways, got another bull indicator, full strength on 42 vision, inflows crossed back up, and hit a highest point of 40% plus, guys. Now, the other one here is SIDU, under a bull indicator, full strength on 42 vision, full strength on the inflows, and it hit a highest point within minutes of 30% plus, guys. And the other one was SPRO pulling downwards towards the bell. The inflows crossed right after the bell, got that bull indicator and jumped up full strength on 42 vision to give a highest point of 20% plus guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the discord. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So here we are with BBBY. Bed Bath & Beyond Inc. going from extreme weakness, why we're fed borders, to a complete transition on 42 vision from the dip area to the rip area here, reaching bright green bars. Now, in this complete transition, it is starting to try to find support and do a staircase effect here if it could continue into tomorrow. And that's what we're going to break down here in today's video. And we're going to see what the inflow versus outflow in 42 vision born bear indicators are showing which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to our SPY bot, our QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way and receive access to our daily morning briefs. We're looking for home runs, daily opportunities, while they're not guaranteed every single day we strive for them. And also you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together and maximize within the volatility by receiving this edge and clarity over the charts and you'll receive the edge and clarity over the charts that you deserve and we're going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator in today's video which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility and slots are now open and you can join once again that link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator so here we are with bbby under a bull indicator 
complete transition and in the aftermarket hours outflows have began after crossing today in the morning they've been above all day and the stock is still slightly trying to fight to bring itself back up i mean you could see that green bar with green borders that is super important to watch that we do not want these bright greens to go ahead and shift from bright green to bright green with red borders if not to continue with strength so it's going to be super important to watch this the main thing here on the 30 minute i'm going to be watching is for these inflows to stay above the midpoint here right now it is red but as long as it stays above it it will not completely destroy the chart but if it crosses through it we could see it start impacting the chart and we need to talk about the support levels to watch right right now no bear indicator just strong bull indicator here on the 30 minute and same thing when we zoom in here to the 15 minute the outflows have been actually dominating but not enough to cross the midpoint in the last several hours and the stock went from 827 down to 770 right dropping almost 10 percent to the downside but still has not completely destroyed the chart because it has not crossed the midpoint there so i'm going to be watching that very carefully here to stay above the midpoint going into tomorrow but no bear indicator in the process bull indicator is still strong on the 15 minute now when we zoom out and we look at this from the one hour those inflows crossed way back here at 712 you could see it right there bull indicator in the process and we're still in the middle of shifts from white with red borders to red with green borders dark green and we have not hit bright green just like this just yet here if this has enough strength we could start to see it and we could see these inflows still continuing to push up higher so i'm going to be watching on the one hour on the 30 minute for the bull indicators to hold true and for the inflows to stay above the midpoint and continue to pull away from it and go higher that's going to be super important going into tomorrow within the volatility in the 15 minute it could slightly cross it but then come right back up so i'm going to be watching that carefully as well but we want it to not even cross we want to see this hold support here and stay above 770 and push up higher and specifically 750s right so right now we brought ourselves back up towards eight and it needs to break above 850 and above that is nine dollars and then we could start talking about 950 and ten dollar range but on the 30 minute i'm going to be watching for these inflows to pick back up switch from red kind of level off and go back up towards green to the upside stay away from the midpoint stay above 750 and then the next support below that will be down here at 724 and for this bull indicator to not get canceled out by a bear indicator if not for this to find support and do that staircase effect to the upside and to the upside we want to break above the highs of the day of 827 most importantly 850 and then nine dollars and as i stated i'll be watching higher levels above that very interesting movement today i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below lots of volatility to persist not just in bbby but in the overall market and as i always state i'm an advocate that everyone should have clear charts does not have to be 42 vision but if you find value in my analysis and what i share in my opinions and perspective and you want to receive this clarity and edge so that you can make your own rational decisions and maximize within the volatility that is daily happening and joining members using these resources check us out join the link down below and become a member and get connected so that you can receive the edge and clarity that you deserve within these volatile markets because i personally believe volatility is here to stay guys it's not going anywhere I've been stating it since the beginning of the year and having an edge and clarity over this volatility is where one can maximize within the moves. It wasn't just the SPY moving today to the upside, also the QQQs. If you go over to Tesla, same thing, full strength here. If we zoom into the 15 minute, it had a bull indicator since yesterday on both time frames, and on the five minute, it received one today in the pre-market and held through all day and those inflows picked up and it went up pretty strong guys and it's not just these individual stocks it's all stocks and apple today brought up most of the market with its strength due to the fact of its announcements on its phones and stuff and all that speculation but the overall market moved together today and bbby actually jumped in 
on that movement and we need to see if some shorts especially new shorts around these areas could get squeezed out of their positions pushing this back up towards the nines and then we could start talking about higher levels above that as i stated earlier in the video as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money